can be quite difficult to find a high impact experiment in biology, but the glowing gherkin is one that you can use. Effectively, what you're doing is putting mains voltage through a pickled gherkin, uh, which causes the cell walls to break down, uh, and the sodium and the sodium chloride will actually glow similar to the way a street lamp glows. Uh, the risk assessments, obviously, with this experiment are very, very high. It is a dangerous experiment. We're using mains voltage, um, and so you need to make sure you use an RCD, check all your LEA and school guidance um, as well. Um, I made a yoke for this, which actually will support the gherkin during the um, experiment, which is just a wooden yoke with a couple of screws coming through it with a decent separation to make sure you don't get arcing between them. Would you be able to, in your house, light up your house with a gherkin? If no. All your no. No. no, no, no. Not your house. No. Firstly, what is a gherkin? Uh, mini cucumber. Anyone know? Yes. Mini cucumber. It is a baby cucumber. It's not just a mini cucumber. If you leave a gherkin long enough, it will actually grow into a cucumber. Now, these are actually pickled gherkins. So they're actually pickled in vinegar and um, salt, so sodium chloride um, as well. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to put mains voltage through a gherkin to see what happens. Now, before I do this, can I just say, you must never, ever, ever dream of doing this at home because this is a potentially massively dangerous experiment. So uh, lights, please. So let's have a look at what happens to our gherkin when we actually put some electricity through it. Wow. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That is one from the Okay, lights. Now, interestingly, what colour was the actual gherkin glowing? Yes. An orangey yellow. It was growing orangey yellowy colour. Um, has anyone ever seen any lights, anything which look about those sort of colours? Uh, yes. Yeah. Street lights. Street lights. And did anyone know what those street lights are called? There's a certain name to those. They're called something lamps. Um, so sodium. sodium, fantastic. Okay, so we've got sodium lamps which glow yellow. We've got a gherkin that glows yellow. Is there a connection possibly between those? What did I say it was in? Salt solution. Anyone know what salt is? Yes? Uh, salt's a sodium. It's the sodium in the sodium chloride that's actually glowing that yellow colour. And what's happening, as we actually put uh, the electricity through the gherkin, all of the cell walls are breaking down within the actual structure itself. Um, and it's that salt, so effectively almost we've got is a thing of seawater. Um, we're putting lots and lots of energy into it, and, and that's what's causing it to glow yellow. So there you go. Uh, did anyone believe a gherkin could be used to light a house before you came here? No. no. Is it a good way of lighting a house? No. no. Because it produces loads of smoke and steam, and actually what happens is, as it burns off the water, it actually becomes less effective as well, and so it will eventually go out. <laughs>